The most important dresses in a woman's life probably include the dress she wore to prom and the one for her wedding day. But what does a woman wear on the day she becomes the second lady of the United States? Our Naomi Peskovitz shows us how Karen Pence called on a group of Indiana women to make her one-of-a-kind gowns for the inauguration. While politicians ready for transition, a group of dress designers works away in Indianapolis. We've kept it all pretty top secret because we didn't want anybody prying or trying to find out what it is. But now the secret is out. Joyce, Sarah, Donna, Kathy, Whitney, and Ellen have spent weeks designing, hand sewing, altering, and perfecting different dresses for Karen Pence, her two daughters, and daughter-in-law. Hang on to the base because she's scoots. Each will don handmade gowns for the Indiana and presidential inaugural balls in Washington. They all brought, they had pictures of things that they liked, and then we really designed around what each person wanted. Ball State grad Sarah Knockle runs the shop called Something Wonderful out of her home in Broad Ripple. The business came from her mentor, Joyce Hittesdorf, who first met Karen Pence decades ago. I made her wedding dress over 30 years ago, and she just called me like a normal person because she, at that point she was a normal person. Photos show her wedding gown was a hit. But this time, Karen had an even bigger request, eight dresses for all the Pence women with less than two months to deadline. Joyce and Sarah called in friends for help. And they all committed to work on a secret project, and they didn't realize what the project was until they came the first day. After the inauguration, Karen's dress will go on to the Smithsonian for display, complete with something wonderful on the tag. We did a lot of things on these garments that we probably wouldn't do on a regular client's garment because of the fact that we knew that they might be scrutinized, you know, and so we wanted everything to be what we called museum quality. We asked and asked, but the ladies are sworn to secrecy. They won't tell us exactly what the dresses look like, though we were able to squeeze out just a few details. Karen's dress for the inaugural ball has 57 yards around the bottom for the hem. That's half of a football field. The designers also gave us these sneak peeks showing the beading details and some hints at the colors. That was really gratifying too because they were all really happy and really loved their individual looks and it, they really showed their personalities in each of their styles. Styles we get to see in full later this week. In Broderful, Naomi Peskovitz, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. So impressive. For each fitting, get this, the Pence women came to the shop with a lot of security, and then in all, they spent about 470 hours working on those eight dresses. The hem alone for Karen's dress took about 20 hours of work. Of course, we'll show you how the ladies look during our coverage of the inauguration this week. Our political reporter, Kevin Rader, will be in Washington, D.C., along with Carlos Diaz and Naomi Peskovitz to make you an eyewitness to it all. I know Sean